Today I'm going to show you how to send data from your Raspberry Pi sensor to Google Spreadsheets. I am connected to my home Raspberry Pi from my desktop using SSH and VS Studio Code, but you can connect uh, any other way. You can use uh, desktop on Raspberry Pi or you can just use SSH connection and use Veeam or um, Nano or any other editor. The first step is to basically create a new file for Python. We're going to be using a Python script for that. And we need to import some of the key dependencies. So we're just going to use uh, date and time, uh, mainly for having the current date. We're going to use uh, PSUtils to get basic information about uh, temperature of the PC. And we are going to use also requests to send the data to Google Spreadsheets. If you don't have requests installed on your Raspberry Pi, you can use uh, pip installer and install the required dependency. We already have requests installed on our Raspberry Pi, so we can go ahead with the rest of the code. The first thing is to create a dictionary that will contain all the data that we want to send. What we put in the dictionary depends on us. In our case, we will use some basic statistics that Raspberry sensors on the board provide and uh, basic dates to recognize when the data was sent. So we're going to use a disk usage. We're also going to have a CPU. And here it's an example of a dictionary within a dictionary. And we're going to have two different variables over there, which is going to be the CPU usage and CPU temperature, which comes also from the inbuilt sensors. And another variable which we're going to use in here is going to be memory usage. So we have a group of variables and let's see whether Raspberry Pi is collecting all of those. So let's test our script. OK, nice. So we can see all the variables. They change slightly every second. There's not too much load on the PC, so that doesn't move too much. OK, the next step is to create um, a line using requests dependency that will send our information through Integromat to Google Spreadsheets. Once we are inside of Integromat, we need to create a new scenario. We can skip the screen with the selection and just go straight away to selecting the first step, which will be webhooks. Within webhooks, we need to select a custom webhook, which will create a URL for us, which we can use within our Raspberry Pi script. We need to add a new webhook. We need to create a proper name for it. Let's call it P sensor webhook. And right now, Integromat is listening to recognize the data structure that we will be sending to it. So we need to copy that address and go back to our Raspberry Pi and send the sample data. I noticed that I actually uh, made an error in terms of uh, structure for the requests. I didn't put what sort of request type it is. So it needs to be request.post because we're using the post method to send our data to the URL. So the next step is specifying the URL where the data is going to be sent and specify what type of data is going to be posted to that URL. In our case, we're going to be using a JSON format and as the content of the JSON will be basically our dictionary that we have constructed above. It can be any other dictionary that we would like. So let's send a sample. The next step is to test our code r dot status code should print out 200 in case of our request being successful. Yes, we see 200, so that means everything went OK. And going back to the Integromat, we can see that Integromat has recognized the data structure. So that means the next stage is adding connection to Google's, Google Spreadsheets. We're going to add a new row, uh, but yeah, we need to specify the names for the columns. We're going to name our columns similar to what we have inside of our data. And then we need to select the proper spreadsheet, which is going to be sensor data, which we have just created. We need to select the sheet and we can see the column names that we have added. Now we need to add proper data 
to each of the columns. Click OK. And right now this is ready to test. So we're going to click Run once and we're going to go back to our script, run the script again to basically send a sample of data. We can see that Integromat received the sample of data and instead of the small bubbles, we can see exactly the structure of the data and the content of data that we have sent. And the data has been passed to Google Sheets. We can see this showing up as the first row in our Google Spreadsheets. Okay, now, but how do we automate it? How do we make it automated? There is an option called scheduling. And once we turn on the scheduling, the webhook will be consistently active and will continue to listen and send to Google Spreadsheets all the information it receives. Now we need to go back to our Raspberry Pi and automate sending of the data. We're gonna use crontab, crontab minus E, and we're gonna set up a crontab script that will send the data, will execute our script every one minute. We need to put Python 3 and the path to our script. Now every one minute, you see this video is accelerated, every one minute there is a data coming from our Raspberry Pi. This way you can add data from your sensors to Google Spreadsheets or you can add any other data that you would like that you can fit into dictionary and you can send it out directly to Google Spreadsheets. I hope it will be useful for you. If you like the video, please subscribe.